Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to a sold-out boardwalk hall in Atlanta. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. Teddy, early on in a fight, I will often turn to you and ask you what's the one thing we should look for out of this fighter. But in his case, I think it's pretty obvious, right? It's the jab. Yeah, more importantly, it's obvious to him. He understands that. You know, he understands he's not real strong in other areas. So he understands he has to be really good in this area. Halfway through this round here. When a right-handed fighter faces a southpaw like we see here tonight, Teddy, that right jab is right up against his jab. That's absolutely right. And you know what? Wow, what an impressive left hand by the flash. Somehow he's avoiding going down here. All of a sudden, some good defense after a lack of it cost him. <laughs> so the end of the round. And now a chance to put the pieces back together. He got stunned in that last round. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. <laughs> Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Protecting his head well with his guard. Ten seconds to go in this. Can you believe that? What a change in momentum. He just got rocked moments ago. He was the one hurting his opponent. Reminds you of the song, I could do anything you can do, only better. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go... Oh, no, actually, I would say a little counter-punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Last 10 seconds of round number three. And this round comes to an end. Real deals ahead on Teddy's scorecard as we take a peek at those scores for the first time here today. Round number four just underway. After three rounds, he finds himself up just a round, but nothing really to pull away early on. What a crushing blow up top he just landed. That's why you don't pull straight back. deal sitting back right now Teddy and looking for that counter punch opportunity isn't it yeah that's exactly what he's doing he's waiting you know he sees that his opponent is in his armory so to speak you know he's in his castle he's getting him to come out of his castle he wants him to come out of his castle so now he can attack <sighs> tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark one gives one the right hand scores well still plenty of time to work here in round number five minute and a half to go well 
time by Real Deal. He took a step back, landed the counterpunch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. Garcia is throwing that uppercut absolutely rocked him. Boy, I don't like the way his legs look at all right now. Like a sledgehammer, that uppercut by the flag. Could this be the start of a big comeback? He went from owning this fight to now nearly down and out. You know, that's what makes boxing so great. Yeah, you can come back just like that. One punch at the right time. That was at the right time. You see him holding on. The flash is left, working well that time. Final bell of a fight fans fight here, but also the kind of fight that you know there's going to be controversy over the scoring. Yeah, very close. And the kind of fight where you could be influenced different ways depending on what you like in a boxer. You like a guy who's controlling the outside or a guy who goes inside and gets it done downstairs. The verdict is in, so let's send it up to the ring. Real deals, your winner by decision. Teddy, that's exactly how you saw the fight all night long. Yeah, now I don't have to criticize the judges. For once, they got it right. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Always enjoy you tuning in. We'll see you next time at the fights.